John here guys and today we're talking about Race Cow. Now Race Cow is the racing version of iGow, the international game of Whoop. And that's where for several weeks a year, new tracks are released that you can build from the comfort of your own home or even a hotel room like Joshua Bardwell and fly the track, time yourself and get benched mark against all the other race scout pilots throughout the entire world. And we're going to go over all the things that you need in order to get up on race scout, including how to build the track, what type of craft you can use. Race scout is the race series where you can build a customized track in your very own home. Now, during the Race Scout season, Skittles FPV on the iGow channel will release instructions on how to build each track as they come out, designed by famous track designers all over the world. Now, you don't have to be an engineer to put one of these together, but it can be a little tricky, but thankfully he takes you through each connector, each pole, in order to get a sturdy track that's gonna work just perfectly. Now, sometimes the tracks have a little bit of difficulty standing upright, but if you have a lamp or a ladder, something else, you can use it to prop it up, no problem. Now, what are the things that you need for race scout? The first thing you need is your radio or controller. The second thing you need is your weapon of choice, whatever tiny whoop you plan to run. Now, race scout actually has multiple classes. So you can have an open class, you can have an HD class, you can have all these other classes, and you can even run larger crafts. So if you only have a tiny whoop that is of a little bit larger side, because sometimes you like to run it outside, no problem, they got you covered, you can still enter the competition. Next, you're gonna want something to charge those batteries fast because you're going to be crashing a lot you want to keep trying and you don't want to have to wait 20 to 30 minutes in between each attempt so you can get the original ViFly whoop store right here or the new version the whoop store v3 the cool thing about these is they can charge in three different ways buy an xt60 plugged into one of your five inch batteries buy one of these barrel connectors i actually keep my barrel connector that i use for my soldering iron on the bench at all times so that can double as my tiny boot charger and it can also go through a usb power bank with power delivery right here and you can charge up to six of these packs at a time i'm finding i can actually take a little break from work instead of taking a smoke break take a whoop break for 10 minutes you can get at least six attempts on one of these tracks no problem this is race scout track three this is actually one of my favorite tracks so far it's much larger like a full size so you have a little bit of back and forth right here uh, a straightaway right there a little loopity loop over another straightaway even longer this time and there is a lap and so you can see this one as a five inch racer made me feel the most at home. I'm actually pretty glad that I started with this one. Um, and it is very tight though. Like my room is not quite big enough for this. And you have un no, like there's an untold number of crashes into the walls, into my face as I pass by right there, full speed. Um, but thankfully this racing 523 craft is like 17 grams. So it's not gonna do any sort of damage. And and it's not going to damage the walls, which means that your wife is going to be yelling at you a lot less. The last thing you're going to need is 20 pieces of PVC pipe cut to a very specific length. I'll have links in the description of where you can do that. I went to Home Depot, I found a cutter, and I just spent about 20 minutes in the middle of the store cutting PVC pipe in front of everyone like a weirdo. The other thing you need is these little connectors. Now, I 3D printed this five way. Why? Because if you go to Home Depot, five ways like this cost five to $10 each and you need multiple of them. So I just printed a whole set of these they actually work pretty good, but they don't work as good as an actual PVC T like this one. Now you can get a bag of 10 of these for like six or eight bucks at Lowe's or Home Depot. So it's worth it to get these. This will work for a joint that doesn't need to be tall, but for a double gate, it will not be as strong. Maybe if I printed it out of PETG, it would be better, but this is PLA and that's just the world we live in. So anything that needs a structural uh, component, I try to use one of these three-way tees. I also printed a few elbows, but as you can see, the design for this one was too weak. I'll leave the link for this one. If you wanna do one of those. So I did a combination of about this. These come out to only about 40 
five cents or something like that worth of PLA, so not too shabby. Um, there used to be a company that would sell you a pack of the actual connectors that you need, but they're out of stock and there's nothing you can do. You either have to like come up with your own solution or you're not gonna do a race gal. And that ain't no kind of solution to anything. I didn't think I was gonna like race gal as much as I have. It's given me the opportunity to get plenty of stick time from the comfort of my own home. I don't even have to get out of my house shoes in order to get some for those people that say simulator is not real stick time, this is the chance for you to get real stick time. Speaking of simulator though, they often make every single track in sim as well. So you can practice while you're waiting to practice while your batteries are charging. Now, a few things were surprising to me trying out Race Scout for the first time. One, it's actually quite a bit of fun. Two, it's really nice to be able to go and do some practice packs without having to drive an hour to one of our racing fields. Three, it's actually better practice than I thought it would be. I thought because a tiny woot fly is so much different than a five inch craft that I wouldn't be building up good useful muscle memory that I can actually use. But because the tracks are so small, you're actually moving the sticks quite a bit. We're on a five inch track, even in a long straightaway or a narrow turn, you might have half a second, one second, maybe a second and a half before your next turn. Not so in one of these tracks. So learning that fast muscle movement will translate to larger tracks when you have very tight obstacles. And that's an area that I need work on anyway. So the bonus of Race Scout, even as a five inch pilot, is it's going to make me a better racer. And after all, the most important reason ingredient to all of this isn't what radio you have, isn't what drone you have, isn't how good your track materials are, isn't the square footage of the building that you build your track in, it's the stick time. Stick time is going to make you a better pilot. Stick time can make someone like newbie drone pilot Daniel Daylight crack out faster times than me on a bind and fly despite me owning one of the world's top racing whoop machines built by 533 stick time and there's only one way to add more of it and that's go through pack after pack after pack now the most important thing you need actually probably more important than the radio you're using and the drone you're using is the battery you're using and i've tried all different batteries for whoop flying and i found the best ones for me were the tattoo one cells i tried some of the beta fpv i tried some happy model i tried some of the other ones out there these just seem to bounce back after a little bit of abuse and they have significantly more flight time out of the box they do sell a five pack with bt2 connectors i'll have links for all the stuff below and whenever you're trying to get packs on a track being able to get five or maybe six laps versus only three or four means that your practice is going to be so much better and, and it's going to add so much more to your muscle memory than if you were using junky batteries so just spend the 22 bucks or so for a five pack of those in fact probably get a few because if you're whooping as much as i am you're going to bring those whoops down as a long time five inch racer and even tiny trainer. I've never had the need to race a tiny whoop. And that's because I don't live in a frozen wasteland up in the north. Those people are forced indoors by blizzards every year. Feet and feet of snow of uninhabitable land where even going outside is the risk of hypothermia. But because of this, they've developed an unnatural whoop racing ability that the rest of us can't seem to match. So we're going to see if a summertime year round five inch pilot can actually acclimate and try to get some of these skills and get myself on the leaderboards. What do you think in the comments, guys? Would you like to see more reviews of the different race scout tracks? We'll see if I can climb my way up those leaderboards. Some of those whoop guys are incredibly fast. I saw AK post some of his race footage the other day from last week's track, and I noticed if I played my submission on 1.5x speed, I still wouldn't be able to beat him. That is some speed, guys. But speaking of that, let's go take a look at my runs for tracks three and four right now. 
Here we go for track four. This is a much smaller track, very tight. I had a hard time getting the thing to stand up. You can see I'm propping it up with a lap and there is a lot of back and forth of that very fast stick motion that you heard me referring to. Like it's immediate. As soon as you make one turn, you're already making the next one. If you pause for even a fraction of a second, you're gonna be crashing. I crashed so many times. It probably took me about 50 or 60 attempts just to get like three good laps maybe once or twice, but really fun.